success, the achieving of the results wanted or hoped for. As a human being, success is generally measured with social status and material possessions, like you are only successful after achieving your goals growing up. In 2018 Oxfam research update, it says 82% of the world's wealth is in the pockets of just 1% of its population. Does this mean there are only few people who are successful? So how should we define success when society dictates otherwise? According to the available data, the world is inhabited by three types of people. People with no goals, people with goals in their heads, and people with written goals. This is the reason why they say in the ladder of success, it is never crowded at the top. 84% of the entire population are people with no goals. Those with goals in their heads is about 14%. And the percentage of the people with written goals, it is a mere 3 out of 100%. When we think about it, people with written goals are 30 times more successful than without goals. That's 30 times. Here are the top reasons why people fail in creating and achieving goals. Not knowing what they really want. Growing up, I saw successful professionals on TV and books. So when people asked me who I want to become, I answered to be a doctor. My dreams change often, influenced by my peers and society. Initially, I decided to take up nursing, but the slots were full, so I tried physical therapy. Midway of the course, my grades were not so good, so I changed to psychology. There are unexpected situations that challenges our goals. I guess my priorities change after I finish up school and find a good earning job. Number two is vague goals. After graduating, my top goal was to take up postgraduate course and be a psychologist. But opportunities to financially support myself while studying was scarce. So I guess my new priority was to get a job with good money. I applied to a good company, met my girlfriend, now my wife, who inspired me to dream bigger. I motivated myself to get promotions and get the job in human resources that's related to my college degree. Number three is motives that are not compelling. This is when our lives changed when my wife dreamed of working overseas. I applied for a job in Canada on the last interview but also got shortlisted for a human resource position in my company. Both interviews were at the same day and roughly 30 minutes apart. I knew in my heart I wanted to work in HR, so I let go of the job with higher monetary benefit for my personal growth. Number four is lack of focus. My wife got a job in UK, so I followed here there. It wasn't easy getting a job in my field since my university degree is different. It was an internal struggle working on job miles apart from what I was previously doing back in the Philippines. There are times I doubted and lost track of what I want to achieve here, but then I dipped my toes in photography and now storytelling. Number five is forgetting. It's kinda easy to be sidetracked with the things you see on social media, like when you reach different milestone in life, your goals change too. I got married, so all my personal aims were put on hold to prepare for our family. It's only after we're stable that I got to dive in my personal interest again. Number six is weak willpower. People always have the fear of unknown and uncertainties. We turn away from our goals without guarantees for the safety net incorporated with lesser priorities. I doubted myself to become a professional photographer because I did not know whether people would actually love my photos but I took the leap with my wife's support and never turning back again. Number seven is not having clear deadlines. It's easier to lose yourself in the process rather than evolving yourself at the end of it. 
whether it's goals in your mind or written on a board, we have to define them down to the very small details. When to achieve, how to achieve, and what to achieve. Choices have great impact on our goals. I left the country and started a new career, a totally different career. Got married and started my own family. I don't have massive material possessions and high professional status that everyone is aiming to have. I guess every person has different level of success in life. No matter how small or big the differences are, I am happy with my family, my photography business, my new filmmaking skills which I consider my success at present. And that's it. I hope you find these reflections useful. And I will see you on the next one.